anyone who has had a regular course in economics will have many questions about this because uh, uh, even those who are not economists will have problems, uh, some questions, but economists especially will have a lot of questions. And so um, I will uh, not be able to deal with all of them, but, but I will deal with a few of them. So the first question which economists ask when um, given some lecture like this is that they say that economic theory is positive. It actually describes what you are talking about is an ideal, which is imaginary. Nobody is like that. So um, uh, we are comparing apples and oranges. We are comparing a positive theory to a normative theory, and that's not fair. So actually, uh, the truth is that economic theory is not positive, as it claims. Um, the objection given to our um, presentation is that um, it's... Uh, prescriptive. It, it, it tells us how one to behave, but science is actually positive. It, science just describes reality. It doesn't tell us what to do. And uh, economics is positive. It is complementary to what I'm saying, that it describes reality and I'm telling how we should be, and mod modern economics describes how we are. So the truth is that modern economics is also normative. Modern economics tells us that rational behavior consists of ma maximizing the pleasure we obtain from consumption of goods and services. So this is also a theory of behavior. Is this actually true? Is this how people behave? Well, uh, psychologists who study uh, behavior tested these theories and found that people do not behave like that. So what we have done really is say that this is theory of rational behavior. This is how intelligent people should behave. So it is a normative theory about what economists consider rational. And why do they consider it rational? Well, it's rational to maximize pleasure in this world because if you, if you reject God and judgment day and afterlife, then you only have this world. So then of course you should maximize pleasure. And that is what they do. And that's what they mean by rationality. So this is rational for someone who rejects God, but it is not rational for someone who does not, uh, who believes in Allah. And there is overwhelming empirical people, not just Muslims. Nobody behaves like what the economists think they do. So there is a specific game, very simple, which I often carry out in my classes. This is a virtual class, so I can't do it. But you can imagine. Uh, uh, imagine that uh, there is a, a large pile of money in front of you. And there are two people. You are one of them. And the other, there is another person. The experimenter has given you $1,000 in uh, cash notes. And he says that, okay, you can divide this money between yourself and the other person. And you are, uh, you are in complete control. You can divide as you roll. You can divide as you like. If you take all of it, nobody can stop you. So when this game has actually been done, uh, many people actually divide half and half. And almost nobody uh, takes everything. Although what does economic theory says that everyone will take everything because everyone is selfish and they want to maximize their own wealth. So they will take all of the thousand dollars. But very few people, only, only, uh, only those people who have training in economics do this. And even those, uh, only a few of them. So this automatically, pro automatically proves that the economic theory of behavior that you try to maximize your, your share and your wealth and your pleasure is not true. People care about other people. So the empirical evidence strongly rejects the economic theory of behavior. So positive theory, this is what I want to say. Even though it claims to be a positive theory, even though it claims to describe behavior, it does not actually describe behavior. And most people are not like that, although a few are. So what are the major areas of conflict between how economics describes human behavior and people actually behave? According to economic theory, humans are selfish, competitive. They calculate the, uh, the last element that of, of profits that they can, and they don't, they're not moved by emotions. The reality is that Human beings are generous, cooperative, and they often take 
and they often take decisions on the basis of emotion, which uh, um, overrides calculations of self-interest. So there are many examples of this in the prisoner's dilemma, a very famous game. If people cooperate, they get good outcome. But if someone betrays the other, he gets the best possible outcome. But the other person... So economic theory says that selfish people will betray the other one and both will end up in a bad position. But the, if the actual people don't do that, and economists have been working for 50 years on how to explain how people cooperate when they are really selfish. But this is all uh, silly because the basic axiom of their behavior that people are selfish is false. And that's why they're having problems in understanding cooperative behavior. So the conclusion of this is that economic theory claims to be positive, but it is in fact normative. It does not describe human behavior. It pre prescribes an idea of rational behavior, which is very different from the ideals of Islamic behavior. So we are not actually doing different things. The economists also have an ideal theory of behavior, but this ideal theory of behavior is exactly the opposite of what Islamic ideal theory is. And actually there are many papers which show that people who are trained in economics learn how to be selfish, whereas people without training in economics are less selfish.